guys, it's Austin Monday. Today I wanted to do a review on a product that I've uh, recently tried and absolutely love and it is the Coloplast Sensura Click X Pro um, and it's, it's the base plate that I'm referring to. So this is the one that I always used to use and this was just the um, Sensura Click, it's a convex one, I have to use convex ones and this was just the one that I had always sort of used as a two piece and it was okay. Um, Wear time was probably three days, two two or three days. By by the second day, it had started to um, kind of sort of disintegrate um, because the output from the stoma is obviously quite aggressive, so it does kind of break down eventually. And it it started to kind of eat away by day two, definitely by day three. And I'd always try and leave it as long as I could before I changed because um, I'm lazy, um, which is not good for your skin, but um, yeah, I, sometimes I just kind of get distracted. Um, so, it, but, so yeah, by, by day two or day three it would have kind of worn, worn off and it wouldn't have been a, a secure sort of fit around the stone and that's when I'd have to change. But I'd heard about the X Pro um, and it had been marketed for, um, I think it was originally marketed for urostomies where the output was quite liquidy and um, it was uh, quite aggressive and it is basically it's, it's marketed as a longer wearing base plate. Uh, let me see if I can find sort of like the information, you know, the, the kind of blurb that it's, um, it's referred to as. Get the iPad. Search for it. How are you anyway? You know, are you doing alright? <laughs> right, hold on. So, uh, Coloplast, if I just put in Coloplast uh, Sensura X Pro, this is from the uh, the website. This is actually, I think, I'm on the Canadian Coloplast Canadian website, but it will do. Um, so, okay, so Sensura X Pro offers extra protection against against aggressive outputs. It's suitable for people with an ostomy that has more has a more aggressive output, which breaks down normal adhesives too quickly. Definitely, I have a stoma that points down, and the bit where it's it's sort of pointed down is leaking. Well, it doesn't leak all the time, but it's definitely the first place it breaks down because it's directly sort of in contact with it. Um, so it's, it's really annoying. That's If I'm gonna have a leak, that's where it'll be on that sort of right hand side. It's got double layer technology, a darker skin friendly contact layer, and then a lighter strong protection layer. The strong protection layer protects the skin from leakages and prevents the adhesive from eroding away from contact with stoma output. The skin, the skin friendly layer absorbs sweat and moisture, which I think, again, I've heard that people who do workouts and exercise um, tend to like the X Pro because they're obviously perspiring more. So it doesn't mean it means that it, the base plate will should last longer if they're doing you know sort of workouts and exercise and, and, and stuff. And because I'm trying to get into shape, um, I think that's going to suit me because if it's going to absorb the sweat, um, it means that it should kind of um, it should mean that the base plate will last a bit longer for me. The flex patterns make the adhesive more flexible, giving greater wearing comfort. Now. I think that's right. Let me let me let me come back to that. So this is the this is the uh, the normal Sensura click, and it's quite sturdy. Uh, it's still got like the sort of crisscross pattern, so it's it's still flexible. But the X Pro seems to be a bit more f a bit more flexible, a bit more kind of um, like it will move with my body a bit better. Um, so I, I, and that was the first thing I noticed actually when I first picked it up. It just seems, I don't know if it's just me, but I, I'm sure that feels just a little bit more flexible. Which again, I think that's why I thought of you know, doing workouts and exercise and trying to get into shape. I think that just seems to feel a bit better, if that makes sense. As the adhesive absorbs moisture, it will swell and steal, swell and steal. It will swell and seal around the stoma, offering further protection. It definitely did that. I kind of, because because it's a two piece, I can change the pouch bit, but obviously leave the base plate on. And when I went to ch put the new pouch on, I could actually have a look and see how it was doing. Usually by day two, like I said, it's it's already started to be like eat away sort of thing at, at the base plate. But when I used the X Pro, it, it's like it was a new base plate. It was like nothing had changed. I was just like, okay, <laughs> have I travelled back in time? What's going on? I was really surprised. Um, and it is kind of swelled up a bit like moldable rings do how they kind of swell up around the stoma Same sort of thing. It kind of it was like it was giving it a hug 
wow, I'm a freak. But you know what I mean, like it sort of swelled up around the stoma so that it, it created a good seal. And then you can obviously get it in flat and convex and you can either get the click or you can also get the flex one. Um, which is basically, instead of it being a mechanical coupling, it's sticky back instead, which I don't like. I tried and it was okay, but I, I'm just, I like the satisfying click of a, of a Centura click. Um, so that's what it says that it does. I agree with all of that um, and I and I because I've been working out and you know I've been perspiring more it's it seems to have lasted and it seems to it definitely lasts longer than the, the regular Centura click that's what I need and especially because I've got a problematic stoma um, you know it, it just it's sort of at high risk of, of um, leakage and the the output is so aggressive like I always used to joke that it's just like the the base plate eating output because it just that's all it all it will do which I guess everyone's does but it just I just felt like mine was just extra annoying usually before when I was using the the normal click it was probably two or three days before I'd have to change the, the whole appliance like the base plate with this with the with the X Pro I, I wanted to see exactly how long it would take so I just left it for as long as, as possible before it really started to you know before it really needed to be changed and it lasted about five days which is really really good and that's exactly what I need especially with my lifestyle being so like busy and, and you know um, I've got so much going on the last thing I want to be thinking about is oh my god I have to change my base plate it's like you know it's just nice to not have to do it so soon um, and it obviously means that you don't have to go through as many base plates, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, the fact that I can go from sort of two or three days to maybe five days is is good. And I know your stoma nurse is probably going to be going, oh no, change it every three days. But in reality, we're not going to do it every two or three days. But some people do. Some I think some people are very sensible and will do it. Um, at, you know the recommended time. But in reality, we all have busy lives. Sometimes we just forget. Sometimes think, oh God, I, I just have to go to the shop or I just have to do this and it's just postponed. So as, as much as we'd love to, to stick to the recommended, um, you know, change it every two or three days, in reality, things like this help because we can't always do that. And sometimes we just have to break the rules a bit. Besides, with this, yes, every two to three days, I definitely have to change it because of the, you know, the base plate completely just not all of it, but I'm just saying it around here would just completely, you know, eat away and it, it, it is not good for your skin. But this, it doesn't do that. You can have it for four or five days and it won't do anything. Or at least not for me, anyway. Overall, I definitely love this. I will definitely be reordering this. Um, although I've got quite a lot of these to get through first. Um, so once I've, I've gone through my batch of the normal Sensura Click, I'll definitely be ordering the X-Pro. And... Um, and yeah, I would love to hear what you think if you've tried this or if you're, you know, if you're waiting for your sample or anything like that. Leave your thoughts and um, hopefully you will find it as beneficial as I have because, like I say, it's what I think is brilliant. Anyway, I hope you're having an awesome Austin Monday and don't forget there's the new schedule of my videos. So today is Austin Monday, so life with an ostomy and products and whatnot. Uh, Tuesday is Beauty Tuesday and Wednesday is Wedding Wednesday. So that's where I talk about my upcoming wedding and what's been kind of going on and um, yeah, just a general update on, on the wedding. So um, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're interested in any of those. Plus I've obviously got my daily vlogs, but they're not daily. Um, they're just sort of when I can either remember or when something interesting happens. So um, yeah, they're not daily vlogs as such. It's more like just random days in the life of really. So yes, please subscribe, please share this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!